Please remember to subscribe, click the bell, and enable all notifications. A colossal shout out and thank you to all my awesome members. To join them in becoming a member and support the channel, check out the links in the description down below. Hey guys, and welcome back to 7 Days That I Asia Mod. So I ran the whole day. Um, I think it hit midnight because it was really, really dark. I went straight through, I took a few paths, took straight through the snow. We actually went through snow. I uh, went through the forest and then I ended up in this town. I actually passed two towns. I marked it on the map. Or was this the second one? Anyways, there are so many zombies around that I just decided, you know what, I'm just going to chill in this one spot and wait until it's light enough. And I think it's light enough at the moment. Um, I just hope it's not too early still. Because I want to clear this for your eye. And then just close to here, there's actually a trader. I want to go there and see what the trader has and what kind of trade it is. Also, I want to see if there's any cool POIs. Because if there are, we're just going to move to this town. Um, but yeah, I just want to see what is up. I don't think we should move yet. Um, I don't know if the trader quests or like, like both traders are connected. At the moment, we've done so many quests for the one trader. He's going to give us a map soon. So this guy might do the same, but I'm not going to take that chance. And then it's not the right one. And... Yeah, anyways, basically this PR in front of us, it's the same identical one as the one we're using with the uh, horde loot or the loot on top. Uh, I snuck around this place and yeah, there's zombies over here. So now I need to activate this quest without waking all these zombies, clear this place in, it's still nighttime, so there's zombies all around, clear this place and then head back. And we do know there's vultures in this place, so I need to be careful. Oh, okay, let's just do this. So make sure everything's recording, the sound is right. Oh yeah, zombies. As long as there's no wolves. Look at all this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 zombies more or less. And that's without the sleepers of here. So I'm going to get close enough to actually reset these zombies. Because if you get too close, they wake up. So if I can reset this without them waking up. Yep, they just disappeared. And now this looks exactly like our house or our base. Unfortunately, it's just a little bit dark. Um, I can light it up for you guys by doing this. But I don't want to draw too much attention to myself. And if I light it up even more, all these zombies in the area will see me. I just wish I had a mod for this weapon. If this bow actually had a proper mod, we might be able to do way more damage. Oh, wow. I could oh, that was a messed up. I could have actually let them kill each other for me. That should have worked. Or would have worked, I think. Unfortunately, now we don't have... The burning shaft mod, so we can't even set zombies light. Oh, nice, it's morning. Okay, so I thought it was more or less morning because it was very dark, but I don't want to assume. So now we have to take about two in game hours to clear this place. Oh, there's zombies all over. Two in game hours to actually clear this place, and then we need to get to the other trader. If we get to uh, uh, get there too early, it's going to be closed still. Then, what if I shouldn't just dump on the roof over here? All these zombies are now coming for me. And I can't leave this area. If I leave this cleared area of here, the quest fails. I don't want to go all the way back to my trader saying, sorry. Damn, why is there so many zombies over here? You can see this is a fresh place because there's just way too many wandering zombies. Okay, at least most of the ones around me aren't that tough. Like, they're not wearing a ton of armor. But we do have quite a few armored guys in the area, so we need to be careful. And armored, I mean, this is kind of armored. But these guys, the Shredders, they're the ones who have real armor on. I can't afford to get too, way too far away from this place. Oh, he's going to run. And I don't have my spear. Oh, lucky me. It's a shame we don't have the burning shaft mod anymore. That would have been perfect just now, being able to set this guy on light. Okay, so the nice thing is with all these zombies, we are bound to level up. Bad thing is, I want to loot this place. I want to explore since we're this far away, and I want to grab all the loot on the way back to the base. I didn't even think about the loot on the way here, because um, I don't want to be encumbered. So on the way back, when we don't have to worry too much about space, and we know how much we've already looted, then we can focus on other stuff like grabbing more from a few eyes we've been to. Please don't tell me that group's going to come here. That is a massive group in the distance. Look at that. There's a whole uh, tag team of just zombies over there. I wonder if we can pick... Yeah, just hold it up. I want to be able to pick this up a lot easier. It really sucks sometimes. Because I either tap, tap, tap E or hold it in. Other uh, times it just doesn't work. Or I hold E. It's not ready yet. It says you can't use the item because you're out of stamina. 
And before you leave E, it throws it because all of a sudden you have enough stamina to throw. This is way too many zombies. Okay, so... Let me just run around this place first. Okay, yeah. All these zombies are now coming for me. And you know there's going to be vultures. I just can't remember where the vultures are exactly. Unfortunately, I can't even just run because they're going to attack. Well, technically, as long as they run straight to... Or fly straight to me, I should be able to kill them, right? But I don't want to be... Oh, there's one vulture over there. I don't want to be just running and then there's three vultures instead of two or four vultures instead of three and then you don't realize you're getting attacked. I know there's a vulture right there. Just couldn't see its body properly. Uh, I don't know if there's a vulture on top of this place, but I know there's more vultures in there somewhere. Now, all the zombies in the area are getting closer and closer and closer. And the closer they get, uh, the more zombies you have to kill. Basically, this whole town is going to pay us a visit if you make too much noise. Which isn't actually really that bad. We do need the XP. It's just, I don't think this is going to be an episode of just killing zombies. If we could at least have some fire or a proper katana or something. Just do some serious damage to these guys. Yeah, okay, please tell me you broke out and you're not from the surrounding areas. I don't mind if you're from inside this place because I need to kill you guys anyways. But if you just came from the surrounding areas, I still need to kill zombies on the inside. That's going to suck. If this thing could actually have the burning shaft mod as well, not only would I save stamina, but I'd be able to uh, set these guys alight. Just a little bit more of a sneak kind of, or just a little bit more of a bonus damage. Because the fire actually does help get the HP down a bit. Not a lot, but a bit. If I had a Molotov, I could just stand on top of this, for example, and throw it down at them. Come on, thank you, thank you, thank you. Get away, get away, get away. Stamina is a big issue in this game. If I could just get myself some more iron arrows from a trader or something as a reward. That'd be kind of cool. Where? Come on. Thank you. See, I really struggle picking up my spear. And that's going to be the death of me because I need to be able to pick it up at a moment's notice. And kill zombies. Run, 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 run. It's nice that these guys are starting to die with like two shots. But I do need to invest a few points in spears, I think. Especially since this is my weapon of choice. I need to be able to do that damage. And I can't afford to take too many hits. We do still have the first aid kit because I didn't use it last episode. But I still don't want to rely on it. I want to be able to use it later on should I need to. Whoops. Whoops, whoops, whoops. Okay, and pull back. See, now the whole area is starting to come here because of all the noise. All these guys were over there, now they're over here. Damn, this feels like it's taking forever. Oh, I just got an arrow back. I was like, what did I just pick up? Oh, come on, Ada, when they do that. As you, uh, as you are about to release your weapon, all of a sudden they decide, oh, hello. <laughs> he just brought it to me. I was like, how am I going to get it back? Thank you. Thank you. I need to be sure that I don't leave the grounds over here. Because if I leave the grounds, the quest fails. Imagine having to take out all the zombies in the area and just because of that you fail your quest. That's going to suck. Oh, hello, where did you come from? How long is this going to take? If this was just a fetch quest, I'll just jump in there and grab it. But this is a clear quest. So I'm going to get confused between this place's zombies and the other zombies. Ah, oh, it's broken. Damn it, it's broken. Um, We don't have any stone, do we? This is bad. Okay, so let's see if we can't get any zombies on the inside to come out for us, if they're in there. Because all the zombies in the area are starting to close in on us, and it's going to take way too long. Come on. I need stone, just one. Literally just one stone, please. Oh, I don't think we can. Without stone, how am I going to be able to repair my spear? Okay, so one of these zombies... Okay, I see a ton of red dots. So some of these have to be from this place that I need to clear right now. Uh, that was clay. Where's... Okay, stone. Thank you. Thank you. But in that time, me just looking for a piece of stone, look how many zombies have uh, come to us. Especially this guy. For some reason, his face is open... But he's tough as hell. Oh, come on. See, a Molotov in this situation, guys, would be perfect. Walking dead. Literally and figuratively. I need to kill the snake first. I think the snake was part of the clear quest or kill quest. Oh, you know what? What we could do 
Let's just see if I can't kill a... F oh, don't get stuck like that. That's bullshit. Uh, I want to see if I can't kill uh, some of the red dots that I see on the map. Some of these guys in front of me are red dots. I just don't know which ones. And I didn't hit any zombie. Okay, now my spear is stuck behind zombies. Guys, this is going to take forever. And we need stamina. Look at that. Even more zombie. No. And it's just, it's not that my settings are too high, guys. My settings are no mad difficulty. The difficulty is not what determines this. Uh, the difficulty is how hard a zombie hits, how fast it runs, that kind of thing. This is the amount of zombie spawn. They need to be able to adjust this like in Darkest Falls. In Darkest Falls, you can say that you want 50 zombies alive at a time. This one, you should be able to do something like that as well, because this is ridiculous. There's just way too many zombies at the moment. I wonder if I shouldn't lower that. I, I, vote in the comment section, guys. Do you think I should go from Nomad to Adventure and try it out? Because even though there are red dots in between these over here, it's going to take me forever just killing these zombies. This is about two, uh, two episodes worth of zombies that I need to kill over here. Yeah, I don't know why you're so mad. I didn't do anything to you. It's a shame I can't pinpoint where the red dots are. Like if I knew exactly which ones are red dots, I could actually just kill them. I know there's going to be a vulture on this side. Perhaps I can let the vulture attack me. Nope. Oh, there's a vulture over there, but that's not good enough. Okay, come on, come on, come on. So you are one of the guys of this place. I know you are, so I have to kill you first. Oh, wow. The reach on this guy. The balls on this guy. Um. Oh, crap. Out of stamina. Guys, we need more spears. Look how ridiculous this is. Okay, you know what? Wait, 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 wait. I almost forgot. I almost forgot. Skull Crusher Candy. That means it's more melee time. Boom. And the nice thing is you can hit multiple. As long as you don't run out of stamina, because then you won't be able to run away. Please tell me some of you guys are part of this place that I need to kill. I think if they kill each other, it still counts as my kill. I just need my spear back. I know one of the red guys are uh, part of this place. But I don't know which one. Is that a dog or is I think that guy just bled out, right? What just happened to this guy? He just gave up. Like, okay, so no, he's not part of, part of this place. Oh, how did he get up there? At least we're going to get a ton of XP. Uh, that's a good thing. But I need these red dots. Until we can kill all the red dots, this quest is going to just keep on going. Look at this, look at this, look at this. This this feels more intimidating than our Horde Knight. Horde Knight was easy compared to this. Okay, if you start to aggro, I'm screwed. Especially this lady, she's tough. Yep. No, 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 no. And look at the area, guys. The whole surrounding area is actually starting to gang up on me. Okay, so the Vulture still won. Let me just see if I can't quickly... I don't think there was another Vulture over here. There was a snake. I think, if I'm not mistaken, the snakes count as part of the kill quest, right? They're part of the things that I have to kill in this place. Okay, now we need to look for more red dots. They're inside over there somewhere. That's a big problem. I don't know who's red dot and who's not. I wonder if this counts as... No, it's probably just uh, blunt weapons for the like, skull crusher candy, right? So, I need to do this. Come on, I need more stamina. And a shame I can't just quickly invest in my skill points a bit. If I can go into my Skull Crusher but and make this club even stronger, it's going to help tremendously right now. Okay, you are dead. Bonked on the noggin. If I can just... if I, Guys, if I can kill all the red dots in front of me, I'll skip all the other zombies and just go for the place. But at the moment, we have to kill this whole group because I don't know which ones are which. Which ones are red dots and which ones are just normal zombies. The nice thing is the Skull Crusher candy is going to last for like 3 more minutes. So it gives us a chance just to quickly kill a few zombies. And we are getting a ton of XP, which is good. Oh no. Oh no, look at my stamina. We're getting to the end of this place. And even more zombies are starting to get closer, so I need to be careful. I can't afford to get too close. The red dots are still in front of me, let me just check. Yeah, one or two of these are still red dots. So I need to kill these four at least. I don't think there's any other type. Yes, okay, this is the last group. Come on. 
Ooh. Ooh. That was almost like mutual destruction just now. We both hit each other at the same time. I need to be careful that I don't run out of stamina when these guys start to aggro now. I need to be able to see where they are and what are they doing? Thank you. Oh, I love it when I can just kill them like this. Guys, we need to invest in a skill. I think we should go club, but we need to get more mods. If we can get a melee mod, that's going to be... Okay, this guy is also... No, it's not. I want to kill him though because he's in the way. Let me just bonk him quickly. Come on, are you not going to jump off? I could just hit him with a bow or something. Yeah, there you go. Oh, let me just drop off so I can actually... Yeah, there you go. Bonk him in the head. There you go. Oh, right, that zombie's not part of this place. This zombie... It's not part of this place. So I just want to kill all the zombies in this place. Oh, there's a zombie over there. Good to know. Uh, can I get a pot? Finally, 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 finally managed to kill all the zombies. We know at least this zombie coming in after us right now is not part of this place. So I don't have to... Ooh. Ooh, level three. I don't have to kill him if I don't want to. But these guys over here... Hello? Wait, is this snake the only thing that I still need to kill? Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, so these things we can uh, skin, but I don't want to do that right now. Ooh, that just, that was a reflex just now. Just hit him, hit him, hit him, hit him. Get away, get away, get away. Okay, so return to trader. Finally. <laughs> Guys, that was just an insane amount of zombies. But see, if our club, technically on the club, we could actually put, an, uh, also put that thing. Let me just see. This is level four. I think at the moment, this will be the best weapon. If we can put the melee, uh, the stamina reduction on it, and the burning shaft mod, if we can put it on there, this is going to be the best weapon. Because as soon as the burning shaft mod is on there, if you do this, you set a bunch of zombies at the same time on fire, right? That's how it works. Come on, I want this little bit of XP over here. And the last thing is, this does... Ooh. Knock them down. Please don't die right now. At least it says return to trader, so we can't fail the quest anymore. But I still don't want to die this far away. Especially since we haven't visited the other trader yet. Thank you. Okay, so where is the other trader, though? It's supposed to be right here, right? Just check. Trade routes. Yes, we're just going to go for this. We're going to skip all these zombies we've killed. <laughs> we've killed way more than enough zombies this episode. Damn. Okay, so let's go say hello to the neighbor over here. If we could find a POI, like a massive POI with like a ton of forges and fires and stuff, this would be our town instantly. We don't have to worry about resources, we don't have to worry about anything. Ooh, what I do want to do quickly though, this is one of those restaurants. And what do all restaurants have? That so far I've only seen at the restaurants. This is what makes me think there's still so much that we haven't uh, discovered in this mod. This is the only POI that I know of that has this. A, a treasure chest. Better loot. Eye candy for better loot. Or better loot quality. Please, a sword or something. I need iron weapons. Eh, barbed wire. Although, it's unfortunate you can't just put this. Oh, another eye candy. We just got it back. It's unfortunate you can't put the barbed wire just like a mod on this weapon. Unfortunately, it doesn't work like that. What you need to do... Oh, that's a massive wolf. Uh, what you need to do is you need to craft it into a new thing. And for that, you need like a workbench and different kinds of tools and stuff. So unfortunately, we can't do that yet. But that's yet. Please tell me that was the only a wolf over there. Remember guys, we are in new territory. So there's going to be more wolves, more everything. Luckily, the snow area I went through was very, very small. Um, so I don't know if there are like mountain lions and stuff in this mod. If there are, we are going to have a problem later. Uh, now, this is trader ground. I need to be careful that there's no wolf. Because if there's a wolf here and we can't stack up, we're dead. Ah, uh, I wanted to open and close it. Okay, it pushes you back a bit. Oh, oh no. Wait, are those... They're gonna come out, aren't they? These are all wolves and That's a bear. Is that a live bear or is that... What the hell is this? Guys, if these guys chase us, we won't be able to get away. Uh, We can't stack up, so I need to run. Can 
Please tell me these guys are inactive. The wolves I might be able to kill, but the bears? This is the trader, right? Please tell me like, there's like an open door or something over here. If these wolf, all, uh, wolves all of a sudden get out, I'm going to be so freaked. I think what I'm going to do is... Let me just jump down here. That door is open. Is there something in there? No. I need to get to that trade over there, but I'm so afraid. Is the entrance at the back? This does say trade, alright? I just have this feeling that they can attack us if they wanted to. Please tell me they just will show. If these guys start attacking those bars, I don't know if we'll be able to hold. I don't know if it's iron bars or if it's wooden bars, but either way. What is this? What is this? What is this? Meat? Guys, I'm so scared. Right? I'm, I'm actually t so tense right now. Um, if these wolf get, wolves get out, we're done. I don't think I'm coming back to this trader. It's just too creepy. I want to actually see what happens if we pass by those gates over there. Do those, do those wolves come for us or not? Okay, please tell me. There's actually some weapons over here. Because this looks promising. Um, Lucky Luda or the Sky Candy is still active. Ah, Why do you get soy and food and stuff and weapon racks? I just don't get that. So is this the trader? I'm guessing it is, right? This is like a super secret, ultra awesome... Oh, no, but this is just bugged. Trader over here. Hello? I swear, if this guy got overrun and there's zombies down here. These tunnels look so intricate. It's a shame you just can't get the uh, katanas and stuff off the walls. And I'm just walking so slowly just in case there's like animals and wildlife and stuff over here. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, hello, hello. Ooh, furnace, destroy the... So I have to go the other way around, it seems. This is creepy as all hell. You can see this guy loves torture. What the hell's up with this PI, though? I'm guessing this is part of what it was, uh, the building it was, and it was tweaked for this mod. Oh, Grace is here. I swear, if Grace all of a sudden gets out, all the zombies get out. I don't think they can actually see you. I don't want to take any chances. There's dogs over here. There's bears over here. There's just way too many stuff over here. So I'm hoping they can't see you. Like, this is just invisible wall. Or, or those are just dummy things over there. Dummy zombies and stuff. I'm still going to loot this place and explore it. Because this looks awesome as all hell. It's scary as all hell, but it's awesome. I'm definitely not coming back to this trader, though. I'm, I'm opening the route so I know he's here. You know what? This is... Let's just give him a name. Butcher Bob. I think they said this is Trader Bob, right? So this is Butcher Bob. There you go. This is Butcher Bob. I'm actually getting the heebie-jeebies. Just, just the feeling of, oh no, if those dogs and bears and everything get out, I'm screwed. Please don't tell me they can actually get out. The trader does seem to be in here, but I swear, if there's all of a sudden a zombie popping up, I'm out. Imagine looting his stuff, he sets the stuff loose on you. That would, be, that would actually be awesome, but also so bad. You thief. Okay, this is a... Oh, rice wine, chemistry station, nice. Hello, trader Bob, or butcher Bob. I'm actually getting so... Uh, Okay, so let me just see. What Do you have any jobs? Very far north. So basically, that's where we are, right? That's going to be in our town. But do I want to come back to this guy? He gives me the heebie-jeebies. It's level 2 tier quest, though. So I think the traders are connected. This guy should have given me level 1 quest, right? Um, I wonder if I should just accept it. And on the if I ever get back here, I can hand in the quest, right? Pitch and clear though, so that's going to be a slot that in my inventory is going to be taken over. 
Okay. So I need to make sure when I loot it that whatever that uh, item is goes over here. And then I can just drop it. Well, I can't drop it. Until I come hand it in, I can't drop that loot. I'm going to run and see what happens. It doesn't seem like they can hear you. But it doesn't seem an actual thing is too different. Oh, they're both different things. Totally different. Okay, so let me just check over here. Which side is the bear? Run over this side. What is this? It actually piques my interest that the zombies can't see me, or unless they're just dummy. I don't think they can break this. Even if they tried, they wouldn't be able to break it because it's trader ground. I forgot about that. Okay, so I was worried for nothing. I completely... That just shows how awesome this design is, guys. The fact that I completely forgot this is a trader base. Okay, um, zombies all over. I need to check on the map where I need to go. That's north, right? Yes. We're just going to go back to the trader, talk to our trader, hand this in, and then we should be safe. Any problem is, guys, we have to run very, very far right now. The nice thing, though, is rice wine. I should save the rice wine, but it gives you stamina regen. So why wouldn't you want stamina regen? And then food. I'm going to save this for, like, the last... You know what? I'm going to do this. I can run and do this at the same time. No, 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 no. And I'm going to run with my frames in hand. So I think what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm just going to run back to the base. I'm going to cut it out. If I come across anything awesome, I'll cut you guys back. We do have some space on us, right? So technically... What is this? Forgotten Cloth Armor Part 1. What is that? I wonder if I shouldn't go for that first. But it's a treasure map, so or treasure chest, so we might need to dig and we don't have a shovel. I need to remember that. We need to get back to that. Uh, oh, man, I'm so curious. I don't know if this is the quest that the guy just gave us, but I don't think so. It's too far away. Yeah, it's in our uh, town over there. So this looks really awesome, but we don't have a shovel. I'm going to go first get all this loot and then head straight up and go to our town and hand everything in. When I come across bird nests, I'm just going to loot those. If I come across a wolf or like a ton of zombies or awesome PR, I'll cut you guys back. Wolf over there. But yeah, other than that, you guys will see me when you get to this destination. See you guys now. Okay, so this is basically where it all started for us. More or less in this area. And just look at the amount of zombies. I'd expect nothing less from the place that gave us such hassles in the start. I just realized though, the loot that we want to grab is inside this pure eye. Now, I could go in there and grab it, but I think there's going to be dogs and stuff in there, so... Wait, what is that? It's that light. That light seems like it might just be something good for us, right? I wonder if that's not like a loot drop or something in the area. Oh, this might be the place where we had to forge in the first place. Okay, so both the loot drops are inside these two pure eyes of here. The only problem is there are so many zombies coming after us right now, and all these zombies have respawned. Snakes, zombies everywhere. I don't know if it's going to be worth grabbing all the stuff right now. I know there was loot there, but I mean, it was early game, so I have no idea. It was good quality, bad quality. Should I just leave? With all the zombies about to call us in this small pure eye, I think let's just run. I mean, look at this. They're all blocking the gate over here, so this is kind of creepy. <laughs> we need to run, 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 run. Okay, so unfortunately, we're going to have to leave the loot over here, guys. Um, but it's nice coming back here and just seeing what we left behind. How far we've come, basically, so far. I just want to check what kind of loot that is. Because I know that I had a drop chest somewhere. So if I can just grab that loot, then it'll be fine. Um, these pure eyes, they do have loot inside, but I don't want to mess with that. Just now, there's some dogs in there, and I die from just trying to get some loot. You saw how many zombies just converged over here, so I don't want to die. But yeah, I'm going to keep running and get you guys back when I get there. Also, I invested one skill point, or well, the skill point we have from this episode, into pack meal. Now we have pack meal two out of three, which is going to help us out tremendously, I feel. Oh, this is the cart over there. There's a cart over there, I think, with loot in it, right? Yes. Oh, that's a, this is a cart. Actually, I think there was actually some rice wine over here. And I just left it. I'm going to check with you guys what this is. Please, no interference from, like, wolves and stuff. Like, that to me looks like a wolf, but it's just a bucket. Some things, just the dark shape they have, and there's no light. It just looks like wolves everywhere. This. Oh, despawn. That's messed up. 
this was a cart full of loot. That's not so. Basically, the cart that was lootable changed into a cart that's not lootable. That's messed up. So I'm gonna have to remove that and just keep going. So, what was the point of that? Now I need to get back to the trader before nighttime, and I've been wasting so much time just running everywhere. Yeah, I do still have some more rice one. I wonder if I shouldn't take some. Uh, the nice thing is we are in a road over here, so as long as we don't run into wolves, it should be more or less a straight path. So yeah, I'm just gonna drink this, and then let's be on our way. Okay, so there are a few zombies in this area. The nice thing is the path I took from Psycho or Butcher Bob. I think it's Psycho Bob, but Butcher Bob just... It feels like a butcher, but it's Psycho. <laughs> but yeah, the path cut right straight through my base over here. Uh, base... Over there somewhere. My base is there somewhere. Uh, but yeah, I cut straight through there to get to here, so that's nice. I was able to drop all my stuff just in case I die. I don't have to worry about losing stuff. Okay, so... Black powder, I'm guessing it's going to be for ammo, right? But blueberry pie. <laughs> Look, at the moment, we still can't make a ton of food. Although, we should be able to make a ton of bacon and eggs already. There is another pig outside, so let's just start taking some ammo over here. Because as soon as we have, like, a weapon, I think it's for explosives, right? That's what we're going to need the stuff for. Okay, so, fetch quest south. Um, Yeah, why not? The closer it is, the easier it's going to be for us, or the better it's going to be for us. As long as it's not our main farmhouse. Um, it's going to be perfect for us because we do... Ooh, that's buggy. Uh, we do need to make sure that we keep our cooking pot. All of a sudden, the world's starting to bug out. Even this guy, he just spawned back in. It's like this place is spawning in in chunks. Okay, uh, what I do want to do quickly is... Let's just do this. One, two, three. Take that out. And I want to make sure he doesn't. Be, he's not able to get to me because this guy is tough. As you guys know, some of these animals can either climb these things or they do some serious damage to the blocks. Thank you. He actually did damage to the one right underneath me. That is scary to think about. Okay, so this is a knife. Meat. The more meat we have right now, the better. Although that didn't give me any meat. It gave me more bones. The more meat we have, the better, guys, because we need to make bacon and eggs. I've been picking up eggs for a while now, so... We should have enough uh, eggs, basically, for more proper bacon and eggs. Um, I should go to the farmhouse just to see if the cookie pot is still there. Because it bothers me the fact that the one cart that was lootable isn't lootable anymore. And that was definitely a cart. It, it was loot. Well, there was loot in there. We left it there as storage. Now, when we came back, it was just like this. There was no loot. So, I'm just afraid that, I won the forge that we're going to use just disappears on us. Um, and also, the farmhouse where the cooking pot is if we lose that cooking pot we lose a proper way of making food so i think let's just quickly go check there just to make sure it, I, I think i'm gonna take the cooking pot out until i need to make food then i'll put it back in but i need to make sure that cooking pot stays safe oh okay have we done this one before i don't think so right this is for the other trader now i, I want to do this when we know we're going back south uh, because we have to trek all this way just to get to him, Butcher Bob. I don't want to run all that way for nothing. So if we can be assured that we need to do something there, or we can get there without losing too much stamina, I'll go back there in a heartbeat. Right, please don't tell me there's dogs in here. That just kind of looked like... No, it's not. It's a chair. But the zombies should have respawned in here already, so I need to be careful. Yep. How many zombies are... I also want to check if we can put the one mod on our uh, club. If we can put the, the light mod, the, the burning shaft mod on our club, that's my new weapon of choice then. Please tell me when the zombies respawn, if we don't lose everything in here. We're just going to take the stuff out. We can always put it back in when we need to, but for now, I want to make sure we have our stuff. Now, the problem is, as you guys can see, there's a ton of zombies in the area spawning back in. And it's because I left the area. So I'm going to have to quickly kill all these zombies to make sure they don't follow me back because they will follow me to this house. It's a shame I had to uh, put a point into my uh, carry skill of here. Well, it's not really a shame. I want to be ca able to carry more. So, uh, I mean, look at that. We're on our last row, finally. But uh, we could have used that point for melee for our clubs. The stronger this thing can hit, the better. I need to be careful of my stamina as well. 
If we could just put spikes in this, I think it's going to already be a massive weapon to use against these guys especially. Because it's basically going to be nails stuck to a baseball bat. And if we can hit them with that, I think that should tear through the armor. Right, left click please. Oh, need repairs. I was like, why is it not working? I'm trying to click, 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 but it's not doing anything. I just thought I'm out of stamina. And when I saw the stamina bar, I was like, wait, what? Something's wrong here. Unfortunately, there's a few armored guys over here now. But the nice thing is, we should be able to do quite a few shots with that stamina regen or a thing we have on. Or a stamina reduction thing we have on. Please, lady, don't see us right now. I already have more on my hands I can deal with right now. Basically, if we can put the burning shaft mod on our club, we'll be able to set multiple zombies alight and knock them down at the same time. I think that's going to be wonderful. Wunderbar. Okay, one more zombie. One more zombie. I'm going to go to her. She needs to come to me. Reason being is that a whole farm is going to wake up if I get too close. Let's just hope our bedroll and van claim stop the zombies from respawning over here. That would be bad. Coming back here, you think you're safe, and all of a sudden, you just get sidetracked or side-swapped by zombies. Okay, guys, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to clear my inventory over here. We do have... Oh, this is a fetch quest for this place. Yeah, yeah, that's right. We came from the trailer. We saw that building. I said, no, we have to wait for that one. We need to do this level one, and then just keep clearing all the pure eyes. If we can manage to clear this whole town out, guys, from top to bottom, we should get enough rice wine for at least one Molotov, because I want to test a Molotov on a group like the zombies we had earlier. I mean, if we could just climb on something, throw a Molotov down at them, and boom, they're gone. That would have been amazing. Ammo bullets. What kind of weapon uses this, though? Unless I'm still supposed to get the recipe, or I can't seal it because you don't craft it on you. Um, let's just quickly kill this lady. Hello? She followed us all the way here, so the least we can do is give her a proper burial. Her eyes are black. That's actually really creepy. I've noticed quite a few of the designs. Some of the samurai look human still, but some of these zombies look really like demonic. <laughs> Anyways, if you guys like this episode, please leave a like, share with your friends. Any helpful tips, comments, tips, tricks, whatever. I always mess the pearl off because I haven't said it in a while. Any helpful comments, tips, or tricks, please leave that in the comment section down below. And if you guys are new to this channel, please remember to hit the subscribe button for more of this content. See you guys next time. I don't know why I keep doing this. <laughs>